What's going on guys? Ben here, Enos Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at the King Series gaming chairs from the folks over at DX Racer. Now, if you guys follow my channel, you'll know um, I'm doing a lot of gaming chair reviews right now. I've got quite a few of them in, and there's a good reason for that. I'm actually working on a big comparison article, um, which this DX Racer chair will be featured in. Now the main purpose of this article is going to be to compare the chairs next to each other. I don't want to see spec sheets and user opinions on it. I want to see the chairs next to each other in the same room and then compare them. Now the article, I'm not really looking to slate any chairs. What I'm looking at is trying to highlight each chair for what it has to offer that some of the other chairs don't. Um, for instance, in terms of this DX Racer on the five star base down here which you may not be able to see right now they have added um, red plastic caps on it so each leg each of the five legs looks half black and half red that's something that I will highlight about the DX Racer because I've not seen that on any other gaming chairs that I've reviewed at the end of the day it's just one of those little features that will help set this chair apart from the others and that's the goal of the article. It's not trying to say, oh, this chair is better than this, even though we will do that a little bit. Um, it's trying to say this chair has this to offer where the other chair has that to offer. And it all comes down to user preference. So let's get into today's review on the DX Racer King Series. Now, as with a lot of gaming chairs, it does come in different colors. And I believe this one actually comes in a couple, um, two different styles as well. As we will see here, we've got a bit of carbon fiber um, looking material coming down through here, which is quite nice. I actually quite like it. I'll be 100% honest with you. I'm not a big fan of red, which this chair is, but I actually really do like this chair. Um, that carbon fiber accenting and the way the design is, is quite nice. Now, in terms of features and performance, um, as I've been doing with a lot of the other chairs, I have personally measured the thickness of the foam. Now, again, this chair features a high-density foam, um, so it's going to last a while. It's not going to you're not going to sit on it and feel like you're sitting in a cloud, but it will provide hours upon hours of comfort for while you're sitting in it so that's what it's designed for and it's designed to not lose its shape and to not flatten out now like i said as i've been doing i've personally um, measured some of the other ones i've got my little cheat sheet here so in terms of the king series um, the butt here is around 14 centimeters thick now please don't take these as the exact measurements this is pretty much me um, with a metal ruler measuring them myself and as you can imagine it's not <laughs> it's not exact but I do try to get close and it does highlight um, where some chairs are obviously a lot thicker or thinner or wider or what have you than others. Um, as far as the lumbar pillow that we've got here it's 18 inches tall from top to bottom and it's about I mean 18 centimeters pardon me and it's about a good seven centimeters thick. Now the headrest is around nine centimeters thick, as is the um, the midsection of the chair where your back is on. From my measurements, it's around nine to ten centimeters thick of cushion. Now, obviously, this chair is designed with a metal frame inside of all of this, which, as you're putting the chair together, you'll actually notice some of that is red as well. So DX Racer have paid a very high attention to quality and little aspects like that, which just helps to, with the general quality if you will of the chair now as far as um, some of the features it has again um, we have movable armrests not only do the King Series armrests move up and down we can also move them forwards and backwards and then there is where is it here on the side on the inside here there's another one where you can move it out side to side now this is going to allow each individual user to get the armrests um, to their preferred location. Now, it's not a great deal of movement, but that little extra bit of, you know, an inch sliding here and there will help to make it so you can get it as comfortable as you like. Now, me, I like to have them all the way out and all the way forward because when I'm relaxing in the chair, it's about the only time I use it. I like to be relaxed. I like to have my room and spread out. And 
that's just what I enjoy. Now, um, this DX Racer, it does also feature a different um, gas lifty mechanism, if you will, than from what I've seen before. Um, it has two, well, there's generally one lever on most of the chairs that allows you to lift the chair up and down, as we've seen I did in the beginning of the video. This one has two. So instead of pushing the lock, the gas pump lever in and out to lock it or unlock the tilt features, you can see I can't tilt right now, it actually has its own lever on the side, which if you put it one way, you can tilt, and then if you easily flip it the other way, um, you can't tilt the chair anymore or recline the chair, if you will. Now, I personally enjoy this because sometimes when you're sitting in there and you're trying to pull, push that other lever in to lock it, it doesn't always work. You've got to move the chair about, lift the gas pump up, and sometimes it takes a few seconds. With this one, no matter what position you're in, as you can probably hear, I mean, that clicks and locks into place. It, it's not hard to do, but you can definitely feel it's not like it's just going to have a feather drop on it and it's going to switch either way. Now, again, with all chairs, we do have our nice... Oh, if I get the right lever here, we got the third lever here, which is obviously our reclining one. And as you can see, the chair goes back, we still spin. And as with all chairs, if you're sitting in the chair properly, if you're lined up, it's going to be hard to tip it over if you're laying back. Now, obviously, as you can see, I mean, I can, I can rock it back and forth a little bit and still not tip it over. Now, of course, if you're a bit bigger or if you're playing around a bit more in it, you can tilt, knock it over backwards. It is possible, so don't think that it isn't. But as you can see, don't be afraid to, if you're at a LAN party and need a bit of a kip or whatever, don't be afraid to just tilt it back and relax and enjoy yourself. So the DX Racer from um, King Series has a lot going on for it. And that does kind of show up in the price. Right now, it's around 400 euros on their site but this is one of their better chairs um, it's definitely worth looking around the DX Racer site and seeing the different styles of chairs and trying to pick up on the little differences they have and finding the right one for you now I'm about just under 5 foot 11 I call myself 5 foot 10 and I'm somewhere around 200 pounds just to give you guys um, a bit of a feel for the size of the chair I personally I personally find this chair very comfortable. Um, the lumbar support pillow is great, as you can see. I mean, they easily it easily moves up and down. You know, you can definitely got a good scope there to get it into position. Um, the neck pillow, like I said, it's called a headrest pillow, but it always goes on the back of my neck, and I guess my head does rest on top of it. Um, again, perfect height, perfect everything. This chair is obviously designed for my size if you will now there are going to be um, bigger people and you will want to look at some of the other offerings that will be a bit more suitable for your size um, same thing with people that are a bit smaller this chair here when i'm sitting in it i prefer to have the gas lift all the way down because if i go ahead if i raise it up and sit in it properly i can only have my toes touching the ground I can't get flat footed. If I try to go flat footed, it just doesn't touch the ground. So I prefer to lower it and then boom, here I am. So I would suggest that I'm probably one of the smallest people that this chair is made for at about around five foot 10. If you're any smaller, you may want to look into something a bit different. Now I am going to go ahead and award the DX Racer King Series with our must have award um, for a few specific reasons. One, the attention to detail. Again, the extra red bit of plastic on the five-star base that we saw is um, a great attention to detail. It allows, everything is color matching these days, especially with all the PC systems and everything going RGB. Um, color schemes are real important to users these days. And again, this does come in different colors, so if red's not your thing, look at the site, see the other colors they have in. And I just think that the little bit of extra color on the five-star base helps to add just a little something extra. It makes it look a bit nicer. Now, the chair itself is designed from all high quality materials. This is, and everything is quite comfortable. It's sturdy, it's firm. 
Um, it's going to last time. The gas lift on it is great. As you can see, um, generally on chairs, I have them up a bit more, but on this one, I've got the gas lift all the way down. So it does tell me that it is also designed for people a little bit bigger than me and should offer a good, um, I don't want to say variety, but it should be comfortable for a, good, a few different sized people. Obviously, even if you are a little bit bigger than me, this chair should still, still be uh, should still be suitable for yourself. Um, the armrest customability, I mean, being able to move them up and down side to side, it's a little feature, but again, all chairs don't have that. Um, I've seen a few chairs where the armrests just go up and down, and that's all they offer. And while that's great, that extra customization, extra getting it just to where you want it, is one of those little small attention to detail things that DX Racer have made sure to pay attention to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also do a written review on this that will have some closer up pictures of some of the areas. So if I haven't answered something you're curious about in this review, um, do take a look at the written review which I'll link down below. And if you do have a question, please feel free to ask. I always do my best to check out YouTube in the comment section on the website and answer them. I try to get back to them within a few hours because as you can imagine I do check them a few times a day. That's pretty much it for this. So like I said, make sure to check out the written review. Um, let us know what you think of the video review as well in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down, either way. Uh, we're always trying to better ourselves. And at the end of the day, we're here to make content that you guys like. So let us know what we can do to make sure that happens. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And please do check back in the future for more content.